here's just a quick point. And I've decided to do three videos at 3 a.m. because I keep forgetting to do them and then going to sleep. Like every time I try to go to sleep, I get all the ideas and then I forget when I wake up. But the idea is, is perhaps certainty is anti-scientific. It might not even work in philosophy either. Because uh, for one thing, science doesn't even seem to go for certainty. Science goes for what's most likely, given the evidence. For instance, if under certain conditions, when we do this experiment, we get the same result like 20 times, I think we can say that we'll probably get that result another 20 times, another 40 times. It's very likely they keep happening. So science always goes for what's likely. So scientific theories are things that are very likely. So if it's a theory, then there's a whole lot of evidence supporting it. Even scientific laws are not things which are certain. They're just things which are very, very, very likely. Like I talked to uh, my astronomy professor about it, and he said laws are like theories that are really, really strong. They're like super theories. But yeah, even then, it's not about certainty, which is why I'm... I admit that science seems to assume things. And I think it's fine that they assume it. They should just leave that stuff to philosophy. They should just assume physicalism and naturalism for now. And for one, they work, which... Yeah, I know that some people that isn't good enough, but... Eh, if it gets the results, I think that's what should matter. So yeah. And I think just in in general, what's most likely is what should count more than what's for certain. We should always assume that we could be wrong.